Today, I'm gonna create an entire backrooms level in under an hour. And the timer starts right now. So the rules are simple. I need to create an environment, a theme, a classification, a story, and I need images to help with the world building of it all. I also need a level name and kind of just a general ambience of the entire place. Most levels in the backrooms are created over days or weeks, but I'm gonna try to do this in under an hour with a full-fledged story and lore and all that. If you enjoy, leave a like. I've never done anything like this. I hope you're watching it. I know it's different than my normal stuff. So first, I'll make the rough level outline, and then the second half of the video will be me explaining the level in the usual Brugley style and format. That that way you kind of get what the level is all about. So now, let's make the rough outline. So off the bat, for sure, I want this level to be uh, safe and like nostalgic and liminal for sure. And I kind of have the vibe I'm going for. I saw a picture on the Liminal Spaces Twitter the other day that really piqued my interest and it kind of had me get in this world building. And I'll make the lore after this, but this is the picture I, I found right here. I'm going to base the entire level off of just this picture and we're going to get, you know, tons of world building, tons of other stuff like that. But this right here is the base picture of the level. And, um, Let's go from here. So yeah, I'll use this as the main picture. And then I kind of want to have like a flooded house as the main ambience and vibe of the level. So let's just look up like liminal flooded, flooded house. So yeah, something like this would fit perfectly. This is also from the liminal space Twitter. Uh, even something like this, you know, just something something like this too would be, would be cool. Ooh, that too. Yeah, this is going to be awesome. I, I'm getting so many ideas right now. Like my creative juices are flowing out of my ears right now. Do you see that? So yeah, I want the ambience to be definitely like, I want it to be like soft rolling water. And then I want it to have like dripping sound effects, um, loneliness. And a, maybe maybe some like echoes just right now i'm just jotting down these quick notes just to have an idea of what to write but before i do more pictures and more world building and that kind of thing i need to come up with a name for the level this is the picture right here i want to keep it simple i don't want to go too crazy sometimes i feel like levels get a little too crazy with the names let's call it house of the water let's actually do um english to latin let's see what this translates to Domus Aque. That's the level name. That is cool. I like that a lot, actually. Wow. So we'll do Domus Aque as like the full level name. That's kind of more out there, kind of crazy, kind of weird. It's better than House of the Water, I think. So yeah, that's perfect. Domus Aque or Domus Aque. That's so much better. And like I said, I want it to be safe, uh, like a class zero. So if we can get like a backrooms class zero difficulty see so yeah, i will use this so there we go now we have the environment the safe nostalgic and liminal and then like the ambience with the soft rolling water driven sound effects you know loneliness echoes nostalgia that kind of thing we also have the theme and the name which is like house of the water and then domus aqua as the full name so now i just need to come up with a way to flesh out the story or like the tale on how to get here i'm definitely thinking you enter uh like via the pool room maybe like level seven or level 4,000 thalassophobia. It's definitely going to be entered from a water level. I'm actually leaning towards the pool rooms. Yeah, we'll enter from the pool rooms in, we'll just say an unknown way for now. I might come up with it when I start writing the level or I might just leave it as unknown. That way it's more mysterious and more rare to get sent here because I do want this level to be kind of like rare. And for the story, I definitely want to hit notes of like nostalgia, relaxing, like sanity goes up, feels like, feels familiar, but you, you've never seen it before, that kind of thing. It feels familiar, but otherworldly at the same time. That's what I'm kind of going for here. And because of that, it's very comforting. So we'll do that. So comforting. And then that seems like all the stuff I need to write the level. So now I'm going to take it over to the writing board and I'm going to create an entire level in under an hour. That only took us about 10 minutes. So with the basic stuff out of the way, now I'm going to get into actually creating the level and making all the lore and that kind of stuff and producing it in a way which you're used to. Without further ado, let's get to the explanation, shall we? So Backrooms level Domus Aqua, or the House of the Water, is classified as a class zero difficulty, and it is safe and secure with absolutely no hazards at all. 
unless you hate water or something like that. The level was discovered by a wanderer in the early 2000s, and there's only a handful of people that have even been here. The level itself takes the appearance of a single house that's partially submerged underwater and is surrounded by an ocean of shallow water. The boundaries of this entire level are not infinite because it seems after a mile or so, there's kind of like an invisible border or wall that stops you from walking further out, but it does look like water goes past that barrier, so it could be infinite, we don't know. The house in the middle of the level is a two-story white house with windows on all sides. The house itself seems very familiar, but also very foreign to the people who have been here. When you go through the door, it's said that you get a sense of relaxation and calmness that rushes over you when you walk in this house. As I said earlier, the entire house and the level is partially flooded, so you're gonna have to walk through a couple of feet of water to explore any of it, and some of the rooms are deeper than the others. For example, the main floor and the basement are flooded more and have deeper water than the upstairs area. The actual water itself in this level is not almond water, which is weird because the pool room, which is the level before this one, has almond water as its main thing, but this just seems to be regular old water from real life. The water itself stays at a warm temperature throughout the entirety of the level, and it actually gets warmer the deeper you go. The upstairs of the level has less light that comes through because there's not as big of windows up there, and it is also flooded, just slightly less water. There are two bedrooms and a den area up in the upstairs, and these rooms, once again, feel very familiar. There's not really any furniture to speak of in the rooms, they're just rooms, and it's all flooded partially. The house also has a basement or downstairs floor, which can only be accessed through the pantry door in the kitchen of the main floor of the house. The main floor of the house itself just looks like a regular old house. There's a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, and a few closets. Once again, all of them are flooded. But once you open that pantry door to go downstairs, you'll see this long winding staircase that leads into a big body of water. This body of water looks like a giant pool. The water is the warmest on the entire level in this downstairs area, almost as warm as like a hot tub or something like that. The basement has this anomalous effect that makes it way bigger than it should physically be allowed to be because the house looks normal sized on the outside but in this basement area it spans out for miles and you'll notice how big it is because just a few hundred yards from the staircase to go down you can see some exposed floor that eventually turns into this indoor downstairs play pool type area this area is very reminiscent of like an indoor water park type area from the early 2000s and it's the only part of the entire level that has floor that's not covered in water it's also the exit to the level, which I will talk about in a minute in the exit portion, but for now, I'll explain the entire downstairs. This play place area gives wanderers that same feeling of familiarity and loneliness and comfort that the upstairs does, but with more feelings of nostalgia and happiness. You just feel like you've been here before when you get here. The ambience is a calm sound of flowing and dripping water with a soft buzz of lights from the ceiling above and this feeling of nothing bad could possibly happen. As of right now, the outside, the main floor, the upstairs, and the basement are the only parts of the level that have been found, but there could be more hidden entrances under the water in other places. We don't know yet because not all the level has been explored. To enter this level, you have to be in the pool rooms somewhere, and then you randomly get sent here. It's not known how a person is chosen or why they're chosen to get sent here, but it's a very rare thing to happen. And if it happens to you, uh, consider yourself lucky, I guess. To exit the level, you have to go downstairs to this play place area, and you have to find this underground pool by the dry floor, jump into the pool, swim to the bottom, and then that'll send you back to the pool rooms where you came from, and no one that's been sent here has been able to find a way back. So you might want to take your time with exploring it. Also, there could be other exits to different sub-levels of this one. We just don't know yet because there's so little information on it. There are no entities, no outposts, and no dangers at all here. Just the calm, warm, relaxing world of water and nostalgia for you to explore.
That's it for this level and this video. I hope you enjoyed this style. I've really never done anything like this for a video. So if you want to see more, let me know by leaving a like and commenting. I don't expect many people to watch this video because it's not my usual type of video. But if you are watching, I appreciate you. And it was really fun to make. I would love to make more. Let me know if you want more. Also, while you're down there in the comments, uh, check out my vlog channel. Because if you want to see more of my personal life and that kind of thing, that's where you'll see it. I have a big video coming out there soon about my life story. And if you want to check that out, be the first to see it. Turn the post notes on. I would appreciate that. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.